see what they say because ugh, I've I, seen a lot of people playing those brain games yeah. and you think, oh, I need to do those too, but come to find out, you know, they can help you maybe in that particular game, right. but it's more of the reading and doing mm -hmm. things that are socially interactive that are going to help in the long run, it sounds like. Yeah, so. yeah okay. and w maybe <laughs> a little bit of good news because I have all of it. I've tried some of those games. Have because you? Okay. I do. I worry about my memory already, and I'm like, this is not good. If I struggle with this already, you know, what's mm -hmm. it going to be like 20, 30, 40 <laughs> years down the road? Uh, but yeah, I've kind of been making that effort to, to read more, you know, more okay. books and kind of watch fewer TV shows. And if I watch things on Netflix, watch a documentary, something where I'm going to learn something and kind of stimulate the mind a little bit. Yeah, so. I've, I've noticed when you, you know, if you read a book versus maybe watch a TV program, mm -hmm. I think your mind, you feel a little sharper yeah. as far as, uh, you know, what you're able to recall or what, you right. know, how you perform, things like that. So. I at least feel better about it afterwards right. sometimes. Okay, there well, I'm feeling go. pretty good about what you're dishing us from the weather. Uh, but yeah, again, it's a little all premature. around pretty uh, fantastic yeah. as far as the weather forecast goes for today. So, uh, yeah, gorgeous start. Sunrise uh, not too far from us this morning. Again, it's going to be happening in about 10 minutes. Uh, 628 for the Boise area this morning. Sunset 855, so uh, nearly 14 and a half hours of daylight expected for your Tuesday. You can see some of the first light uh, this morning, the live look downtown. Yeah, gorgeous start to the day. Not a cloud uh, really visible in the sky. Maybe a few high thin clouds down to the south of us, but uh, your dog walking forecast this morning. 56 uh, about, uh, from about 8 o'clock until the noon hour. We'll see about low 70s. So, yeah, if you want to exercise, I think before noon will be the best uh, bet as temperatures are expected to get pretty warm out there with the sunshine we're expecting. Partly cloudy for tomorrow and then some cooler weather and uh, some storms on the way through Friday. So looking at temperatures, what we're expecting. Yeah, a nice decline from today through Friday to a high of just 64 degrees. So getting just below our normal high on Friday of uh, 69. Warming up over the week weekend should be pretty nice out there on this day in history. Well, the hottest we've ever been is 94. We're expecting mid 80s as we showed you today, so about 10 degrees still shy of records, but a, a nice and toasty day regardless. So clear skies this morning, a few clouds uh, moving into the uh, southwestern portion of the state, eastern Oregon a little bit. Overall, uh, we have a nice ridge of high pressure and an area of low pressure that's going to start to move inland as we head into um, uh, the end of the week. So we're going to see some more cloud cover, a little bit of moisture out there, otherwise not expecting a whole lot of change. Again, putting future casts into motion. This storm system will ride up and over the ridge. It'll help flatten this ridge that's in place right now a little bit, so it'll weaken it. That's why we'll see some of the cooler temperatures and, of course, the cloud cover. Uh, best chances of moisture, I think, will likely be on Friday, uh, even though we see a little bit of moisture moving to the north of us uh, through Thursday as well. Uh, things will stay dry, I think, until an area of low pressure slides down from the northwest, moves through the area area on your Friday and we'll pump in just a little bit of moisture out there. So extended forecast then for the Treasure Valley. Looking at temperatures, as we mentioned, declining through Friday. We're going to see a slight chance of some thunderstorms and some windy conditions on Friday as well. Right now, models are suggesting we could see anywhere from 25 to 30, maybe even 35 mile per hour winds on Friday. So pretty blustery out there. Clearing out for the weekend. Mother's Day is looking fantastic right now. Sunny and 75 on your Sunday. Extended forecast for the mountains. Yeah, a chance of some thunderstorms tomorrow. Mostly cloudy Thursday, then more showers Friday and Saturday. Nice, oh, nice though for uh, Mother's Day. And uh, be sure to check with Roland at 4 and 5.30 for the update on the forecast. But all in all, can't complain about today. Yeah, I really can't. I think I'll uh, use Friday the cool down as an excuse to maybe stay in and uh, read a book or watch <laughs> some TV, whichever you decide in the moment, maybe. and then uh, get back outside for the weekend because it looks gorgeous. So. Phenomenal. Can't complain. Yeah, yeah. good news all for right. Mother's Day, too. All right, thank you, Nate. All right, commute looking good so far this morning. Still not seeing uh, too much buildup at ID4 and Cloverdale. We'll check in with Ron over.